Hey guys, what's going on? Russo here bringing you guys episode 3 of my Hardcore Iron Man series. And before we actually get into this episode, I just want to go ahead and say thank you so very much for all the support. Uh, not only that I've been receiving on YouTube, but also on Twitch with this series. It's been a really, really, really awesome series to actually play and be a part of. Um, and hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. It seems like you guys really are. Uh, my views on Twitch have been going up. All these videos on YouTube are hitting numbers that I would never even have imagined. Uh, do keep in mind, guys, the YouTube channel is very, very new at this point. So uh, your support has been absolutely incredible. And I just want to say thank you for that. So last episode, we actually had asked for 10 likes on the video. And I think you guys got almost 20 likes. So if we could do the same on this video, if we could drop 20 likes on this video, that would be absolutely incredible. This is our first major milestone slash accomplishment that we will be having in the hardcore. And there's some pretty cool moments in this as well. So before we actually get into the video itself, again, I just want to say I will not be showing you guys all my woodcutting levels, uh, fletching levels, and construction levels. Uh, you will be seeing every single uh, fire making level that we will be getting uh, throughout the entirety of the episode. But we didn't actually show you guys all those three. Uh, they are kind of passive skills where you can get some XP from them uh, while doing Winter Tide. But we felt like the, the main focus of this episode uh, will be the fire making. So so this little freeze frame right here is just indicating that we had finally completed our pyromancer set. So as you, can, as you can see, we have the hood, the garb, the legs, the uh, the boots, and the gloves, as well as the broom and torch, which doesn't actually give any bonus XP, same with the gloves, uh, but we did actually get to complete the set. I believe we got the set uh, before actually 150 kill count. We got very, very lucky. It is a 1 in 150 drop rate, I believe, for each singular piece. So for us to get the entire set before, uh, you know, 150 kills is really, really good. So we are up to level 81 fire making already, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, I believe fire making takes about a week or so. So as you guys can see in the upper right hand corner as well, we're getting about 250k an hour uh, XP wise at 83 fire making. Here's just kind of a shot of us with a full pyramid gear before 142 kill count, level 83 fire making and making some awesome gains so far in this episode. So um, the main reason why we are actually doing Winter Todd on our hardcore, and both of you guys probably do understand that there are a lot of supplies. So every single round that we actually complete here at Winter Todd, as you guys can see, we will get some supply crates. Now, and there's there's an awesome drop we got right there. So I believe we got the Toma Fire. I believe that was actually before uh, kill count 175 somewhere around there. So there's one awesome unique item is a 1 in 1,000 drop rate, uh, which is absolutely amazing. So uh, really cool. So not only do we have the full power mancer so far, uh, we do actually have the Toma Fire. So the best clip of this episode is actually coming up right now. And this is actually where I receive the pet. So I will be making a separate video of this reaction, kind of, you know, kind of explaining why I was so uh, hyped about it. There will actually be no live reaction in here because I just, there is music playing over the clip. Uh, we did actually get the pet on stream, which I'm very, very, very thankful for. If I had gotten this pet off stream, it would have, you know, wouldn't have lived up to the hype. So um, I'm going to be making a separate video on why this pet was so important to me, uh, specifically the Phoenix. Obviously, it's not, you know, it's it's not a pet that's very, very rare. You know, it's one of the more common ones, uh, as you can see, just by the people running through the gate right now. And you see me jumping up right down. I was so ecstatic, and I can't wait to show you guys this. Um, if you guys actually do watch my Twitch stream, we actually have a command in our chat that actually uh, you will show you that clip, or this clip, I should say. Um, but yeah, this, this clip, I was I was ecstatic. You guys can see I'm clapping, I'm smiling, I'm yelling, I'm screaming. So, um, and you actually see the Phoenix pet uh, following me. So very, very excited to get this pet. Uh, there is reason behind it. I will kind of explain that in another video, um, as mentioned earlier. But so far, guys, 185 kills. We have received the full Pyromancer set. We have received the Toma Fire in the same episode, keep in mind. Uh, or not in the same episode, but in this kind of same uh, instance, we actually received the Toma Fire in this on the same day. Um, and we actually received the Phoenix at kill count 185. So, uh, pretty good luck here on the Hardcore Iron Man at Winter Todd. But uh, getting back into the reasoning why I decided to do Winter Todd as kind of one of those first skills. So, as you guys can see, we get uh, supply crates, which are drops from Winter Todd, if you actually meet 500 points per round. Those supply crates uh, supply anything from tree seeds, uh, herb seeds, logs. Uh, herbs themselves. Um, they also provide ore. They provide a lot of supplies that actually get you off to a really, 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 really good start on an Iron Man. It's pretty good to do on a normal account as well. Um, I actually made about 200 mil GP going up to uh, 200 mil experience on my level three, which is also another video on this channel. So I uh, showed you guys my celebration there. So um, as you can see, we are up to now level 18 construction. And another thing to note is that we actually stopped fletching at this point. So the reason why we stopped fletching, and I will, uh, if I do ever make a guide for uh, Winter Tide, I will kind of explain that. Uh, the reason why we actually stopped fletching is because we were actually getting less xp per hour uh by fletching and we just kind of want to get 99 fire making done we had just streamed for about three three and a half months of uh 200 mil fire making here at winter Todd. so and there you uh there you guys see with 62 wood cutting so we are finally halfway with 92 fire making now and um 
You know, we really didn't show you guys too much of Winter Tower. We just kind of showed you every time that we leveled up. Uh, but I feel like it was very, very important to show you guys every single level that we got uh, so that you guys could track the progression. But uh, going back to the supplies, I kind of really just want to dive into that really quickly. So you get all these supplies from Winter Town, and it's a very, very good start on an Iron Man. Uh, it's very good early level farming. It's very good early level herb lord. And you guys will see that in a later episode. Um, some of the ore that can be used can be also used for your smithing level. Um, and some of the logs, if you do opt to do it, you can do it for fletching or you could do it for fire making. So overall, um, I would quote unquote would say it's it, it's efficient to do winter todd um when you first begin an iron man now you will actually get more um supplies and you will actually get better rewards if you do decide to fledge uh main reason being is you will actually get more points per round so that's uh pretty much what we wanted to uh cover right there in terms of supplies so that's why we decided to do this uh i guess you can call it a skilling boss but here's the uh here's some stats this is why i actually left this clip in uh because i'd mentioned previously in the episode or that um i want to i wouldn't actually be showing all my wood cutting levels all my fletching levels or all my construction levels. So as you guys can see, um, when we were 97 fire making, we had uh, 97 fire making, 67 uh, wood cutting, uh, 44 fletching from the time that we did fletch. We have obviously not done that in this uh, for the majority of this episode at this point, and uh, we actually did get up to 31 construction. So pretty good gain so far. Um, we actually decided to stop fletching, like I said, just because it was it was way too it was way too time consuming. Um, obviously, we had and we already got in the full power mister set, the tome of fire, and the pet. There's really no other good rewards to get besides the dragon axe, and the dragon axe is actually a one in ten thousand drop rate uh which is pretty pretty ridiculous so there it is guys the 99 our first major milestone and our first major accomplishment here on the hardcore iron man and the best part about this is we actually survived so um as you guys know winter todd is not a safe death if your character does actually die here at winter todd um your account will um your account actually will go down to its uh, iron man status and will lose its hardcore so uh just this you know this clip's about a minute long just showing you uh basically the rewards that i got uh so as you can see we got a ton of logs uh the logs can also be used for construction as well so we can use the oak logs and the teak logs and the mahogany logs actually turn those into planks and uh, get some construction level. So we actually did end up getting another Tome of Fire uh, kind of on our journey to 99. I do believe it's around 600 kills uh, for 99. We got the first Tome before like 175 kill count and we got the second Tome, um, I believe a little bit there on after. So we did it. We did get some very, very, very significant rewards. Um, as you can see there as well, we got uh, we got some rubies, sapphires, diamonds, and emeralds. Those will be really good for, uh, you know, beginning level crafting. Uh, we did get about 1400 pure essence, a great start for us with rune crafting as well. And of course we got some raw fish that we can actually uh, start up with our cooking level and um, we can kind of go from there and get our cooking up. So, thank you guys so much for all the support on this series. Once again, if we can hit 20 likes on this episode, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, I really appreciate all the uh, support you guys you guys have been giving me, not only on YouTube, but on Twitch as well. Um, this series seems to be going down very, very well, and uh, I'm very, very happy that I did decide to do this. So, uh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next episode.